Hey everybody, Parker here. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so this is a follow-up from Parker Tries. Um, I didn't video the second one that I did because, well, y'all saw me going janky through the, through the first one. So the first one, um, I did Color Street uh, with the colors No Way San Jose. And I didn't watch any videos. I just opened the package read the directions, and off I went, right? Okay, so this is, um, those lasted very, you know, quite a while. It lasted about a week, which is pretty good considering um, how much chemicals I use uh, at work. Uh, I'm a nurse, so we're constantly, constantly uh, disinfecting and doing all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, I... I, I took them off because they were getting janky. Uh, and then we just finished Halloween. And so I went back to black for my um, for my costume, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll saw uh, what I did. Uh, there's a, we, For all, all week long, we had to dress up as something different uh, every day. So I did like um, kind of like a cupy. A cutie girl goth sleepy time PJ thing for for PJs uh, for witch and warlock day. Well, <laughs> I just went as myself. Yeah, no, I mean be who you are and wear it proudly. So Thursday was Throwback Thursday, and I pulled out one of my most favorite iconic characters of all time um, from all the way back from when I was a teenager. Um, the movie really spoke to me, um, when it came to love, forgiveness, um, and, and, and basically the definition of family. So I, I did the anti-Spider-Man thing, but, uh, I came, I went as the crow, which was great, but you know, his nails were black. So I took those off and, um, I heard about these other nails, um, what is it? Um, nail polish strips that are out there besides Color Street. Uh, and, you know, they were actually readily available because I don't, let's face it, guys. I work so damn much. I don't get out much. Um, so I don't, I used to just walk around Walmart or Target or even Hy-Vee or Price Chopper or whatever grocery store and just kind of like browse and window shop, you know, kind of a way to like do retail therapy, which, you know, without buying anything, which, you know, kind of felt good, really. It just kind of gave me an idea of what was out there and gave me ideas on, oh, hey, I'm going to try cooking that or, hey, I'm going to try that. That's a cute outfit, that kind of thing. So um, I heard that there's um, this, th there's all kinds of nail polish tape strips out there. Um, now, it used to be nail stickers and nail strips were just janky like you know kids would get like those little reward stickers and stick them on their nails and that would be like I just did my nails and I felt like whenever I heard nail stickers it was a lot like that you know um or you know for instance for instance if I wanted to go all day with um uh thanks knockout for the poop stickers uh, if I wanted to go all day you know I'd just take these and you know just stick them on my nail like so, and put some nail covering on it. You know, we did that as kids, which, oh, really? <laughs> if you feel me, you know, because sometimes that's all you could afford. You know, when you grew up poor, you just ask the teachers, hey, if I, you know, if I help you, you know, help in class or something, can I have a sheet of stickers? And they'll be like, yeah. And then you would... Take them home, put them on your nails if they were cute enough, and put some, uh, you put some, uh, hard coat over it, and that, that was you doing your nails sometimes. Kids did what they had to do. So, um, there was this other kind called, uh, let's see, where'd it go? Let's see if I can pull them out here. I should have had them ready. I always be doing this to you guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'll be doing half the time. Let's see. Here. Nope. That's. <laughs> nope. Not it. One, two, three. Not it. Oh, there they are. 
I did have them ready. I just put them in the wrong spot. So I tried a couple of others. So of course we've got, ooh. So if y'all remember the first time I ever did the nails was this. And I, and I could just hear your voices now. Parker, did you not know? And the answer is no, I did not. That this whole strip could have done two nails. I didn't know that. Like if you put like this on half your nail and cut it off with some scissors, that other half could go on the other nail, right? Um, so this one was Color Street, and I kind of sealed it up a bit. See, there it is, No Way San Jose. Um, and then, after I had to do the black nails thing again, yeah, see, I had these from Color Street. After I did that, um, one of my patients saw my color street and was like, ooh, girl, those are cute. But have you tried the others? And I'm like, oh, there's others. Oh, boy, there's others. Yes. So the next one that I tried was, let's see, this one, it wasn't ready. I should have had it ready. I'm so crazy. Here it is. The next one I tried was this one. Made in the USA, they're double-ended strips, and that's the key. That was the key. Um, I don't believe this one said, well, this is the French manicure. That's not, that's not what I'm looking for. My shit's everywhere, y'all. So, yeah, it just said 16 long-lasting strips. It didn't tell me that they were double-sided. Although, looking at the pictures now, you can tell they kind of were. You see what I'm saying? And it said, apply and stretch. It says, do not apply over your cuticles or your skin. Well, yeah, because that's this is real nail polish. That would irritate it. But you could see that there would be enough. Like, if you trimmed it. Okay, so yeah, you pull it and make the seal over your nails. But if you trim it with your scissors like these like they're even curved a little so that they can like go around your nail just like that uh, then that tip could go on the other finger I really liked these these were super thick and they lasted way longer than I expected um, and yes I did put the hard coat over it for extra protection for extra insurance these were wide enough that they went directly from one end to my nail all the way to the other with just a little bit of overlap so you could go in and pinch off the extra without too much extra. So I really liked Color Street. The downside was it's, I'm not quite sure the exact price, but they were over $10 a pack. Um, and you have to wait for them to come to you in the mail because these are mailed to you. Okay. So yeah, but I do, this This was hands down a, a pleasant experience. So I only have these and I'm kind of holding on to them for like something really, really special. Like, um, like, um, well, New Year's is coming up. You know, New Year's is just, oh my God, guys, New Year's is two months away. <gasps> oh, almost, almost there, y'all. So, and then I thought, well, darn, because I'll just go back and, you know, put that, put my go-to, my favorite go-to um, Secret Admirer black sparkly nail polish on. That's about as girly girl as I get. And then my, my client told me about coconut nail. Um, it's 100% nail polish. There, you get less, less strips, but they're double-ended. And you, you put them on the exact same way you don't get an alcohol packet with it, but that's fine. That's what soap and water is for. And I have alcohol packets everywhere. So this is what they looked like. Um, and if you noticed, I already put them on. They're double-ended. Um, so what I did was I put them on one side and then sealed it. Trimmed off the excess and immediately put the other tip on the other side of my my other finger so like this is all one tip or that's all one strip right there right and it's hella cute 
so this was their front it's from in coco that's the company that makes these and this one is called um song of the sea now what makes it different from color street well for one these were at walmart um and they were about half the price so they were slightly more affordable the downside okay i will be truthful i do love 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 this design it is absolutely beautiful i love how it makes my nails look and i love how I, I, there was less waste um um i intuitively knew that if i took it off this nail that i could turn around and put it on this nail but i will show you the problem that i came up with if you can see it that's actually like a patch there was a little bit left over at the tip, so I had to cut that tip off and fill in the holes. Um, I did the head of the couple of sides. Um, like this strip is too narrow. The very next one up, way too wide. Um, so that's the next strip and the next strip and the next strip. You can see where I cut myself. And then these I've had the same problem over here. I had to use some of the strip to right there. And of course, right there, you can see some of the black nail polish. Um, oh, and you can definitely see it right there where I could not get it all the way to the edge from side to side. Um, I do love this design. I'm in love with it. And I mean, cause I love blue. I mean, really, but, um, this is how I go girly girl is like this, you know, um, you get less strips. They are thinner, um, as in thickness. Um, they do have, um, more narrow thickness. Um, these are way thicker. They actually feel thicker in the package. These are stupid thin. Um, uh, these will tear very easily when I tried to put them on. Um, but it felt like um, because they were less expensive, there was less stress on getting it right, you know. And then there was enough excess to go ahead and fill in the spots. Now, when I filled in the spots, I'm going to try and fill in. I'm going to show you this one. You can't even tell that that is two or three pieces that I put on my nail and then smushed down with the cuticle stick that these guys came with. These guys came with a cuticle stick. So you could like pull it up from under your nail and then you tear it off and then there would be like a strip. I was able to cut strips as thin as I needed with my scissors. You know, I would just cut the little thin, I would just go snip, 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 snip and make a little make a little strip and then yeah you can see how I did that here yeah you can kind of sort of tell um, how I made a fill-in strip because it didn't go from one into the other uh, so that's the only downside is you get less strips to play with now you know that's for somebody's toe look at that that's my thumb <laughs> that is white as hell that's for that's for a toe so um, yeah, that one was like, was like, that might be for a pinky toe. And I'm wondering if that's what the deal is. If this was actually like for your feet. I don't know. It doesn't say. But that's fine because you should technically be able to use these for your feet or your hands. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I did love this color. Um, I am going to get more of these. And I went ahead, just like I did with the first one. I sealed it with just plain old tape. Um, I only took out one sheet. And I even have one left over. You can see that. I only took out one sheet and made that work for both hands. So um, I paid less than, I'm not sure if this is a 6 or $7 kit. And I was able to turn it. It's going to be like a $3.50 manicure when it's all said and done. Because I'm going to be able to use these for the next time I do it. So that was, was kind of nice. And then, so yeah, so there's there's that. I am going to keep buying more Color Street because they had the most amazing designs and I've got plans for those for reals. So after that, In Coco also makes uh, French manicure and you know I love me my smiles. 
So I said, and it's the same. It's it's a little bit more involved with this one. You move off the peel, the color, the pe uh, I'm sorry, I can't even talk. Remove the clear cover, peel off the tip strip, and then you put on the tip strip. Now, if you cut it, it looks like you can use the tip strip again. You see how much is left? You see how much is left right there? Uh, go ahead and file it down, and then there's a clear cover. For polish which I don't I'm gonna go ahead and open this because I know eventually I'm gonna use it um, oh it's just clear it looks like it's just clear which is great because that tells me that however many of these oh and it comes with the emery board as well there's the emery board um, however many of these tips I have if I don't want to use their strips, I can go ahead and follow up the tip that I put on and shared with another nail with top coat, hard top coat. And it says 16 French white tip with 16 clear overlays. Um, if they're double sided like the other ones, or whatever what have you who knows how many I could get out of this so if there's 16 tips I could probably use each tip twice that's 32 I can do 32 nails and I don't that's like that's that's three times that's three times I could get French manicures out of this and I believe this was seven dollars at Walmart Hy-Vee Walgreens CVS uh, I know these are at the um, pharmacies and it's definitely at Target and Walmart so there's that's the French manicure one and finally what sent me to Walmart in the first place down this whole rabbit hole of nail tape is my client didn't tell me about these others I saw those just sitting there next to these but she told me to try dashing diva Ooh, and you know I had to especially these do you see the purple, blue, iridescent ones in the middle. Ooh, Jesus. I have gone to nail heaven. Look at that. These were six something at Walmart. And these come the last 14 days. There's 34 of them. So um, I did fall down the rabbit hole of, of looking this, this one up this time. And once again... They're double-sided, but you put them on differently, it looks like. Um, they're double-sided, I think. So there's, I mean, it says 34, but if they're double-sided, that's potentially 68 different nails you can do. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open this. The only ones I can tell that are not double-sided are these. But... If you can get hella creative, oh, franche. I don't know what that's for. I don't know what that is for at all. I think it's just to make it look pretty. There's an emery board. So it looks like you wash your hands, soap and water, shape them. And oh, it does say use um, nail polish remover or alcohol prep pad. And then you select the size and it looks like that yes, you can use it double-sided. What would be cool it's like, for instance, one of these nails would be with like the sparkle down at the bottom. Uh, and the rest could have like sparkles at the top or something. Or, you know, if this is sparkle at the bottom, how would it work? They, they look like they could be double-sided, but they're not. But if you wanted to make just your other nail completely blue, that would be cool. Um, they give you all kinds of options in here. Like you could have a completely clear nail with just glitter. That's clear silver glitter. Um, and then this is, I don't know what to call that, iridescent, hollow. These are hollow. These are iridescent. Um, it doesn't tell me what the hell to do with these. They probably just put it back there like that to make it look pretty. I can't tell. Ooh, I hit my phone again. I'm always doing that. It says fold over the excess and, and of course you file down. If you have excess material when folding strip over, trim with the scissors before filing. 
for optimal adhesion, avoid, exp avoid exposing to lotion, oils, or water for at least one hour after application. So after you put them on there, don't use that cuticle oil. Let it dry. I would probably use the cuticle oil the next day. Um, and to remove it, now I just used um, acetone nail polish remover to take off the color street, and it came off stupid quick. This says drop some cuticle oil onto your nail and with the manicure stick lift the strip away and it gradually roll the strip off your nail okay do not peel off with force or in one quick motion yeah because that'll tear that'll tell your that your nail is in layers and that would tear off layers so anyway i'm excited about using um this is dashing diva um, this is a good way for people who like can't get out of their homes or just, you know, they can't, you know, with the way the economy is and the way people, you know, they, they're getting denied their stuff left and right right now when it comes to unemployment. A lot of places have finally lifted, finally lifted the hiring freeze. The local hospital has lifted their hiring freeze, and so now they're hiring. I know the IRS is hiring, but that's like temporary work. And I don't know about y'all, but I need the certainty of permanent work. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to put this back in the package here. I'm excited to use this one. And just in case, so I don't have to go searching. I put an alcohol pad in there. So that's Dashing Diva. So this is originally... Oh, shit. <laughs> this is originally what I went to the store to go find. And I got to tell you... Ooh, come, come out of there. Come on. I have got to tell you, those shelves were hella empty. Y'all already knew about these. I am slow on the upchuck with this. Which is fine. I will get caught up. I will get caught up for sure. But these really caught my eye because of the blue and the iridescent. This was the last one. And I have a feeling like somebody was going to come back for it. Because they were, it was like shoved back behind some other stuff. Like, uh, let me come back for it. And then there's this one. It's so cute. Um, this is another Dashing Diva one. Um, I don't know if it's like the same thickness or caliber of Color Street. Because uh, like I said, um, coconut nail art was like pretty thin compared to compared to Color Street. So I don't know if Dashing Divas is going to be just as thick or if it's also going to be thin. But I just love the ingenuity of the art. Like, and it's a nice neutral color. So again, you can see how the bottom half is like, they got that cute little thing right there with the glitter. If I wanted all my nails to be the same, I could cut them off, but hell why? Because that's just too fucking pretty. And then you can layer them even. Like you could put that on top of that. Or even this tip, like this just tip could like go on top of here. So I love how they, it's almost like you can customize your nails and it's gel-like. Uh, whereas just like salon gel lasts up to two weeks. Um, and it's probably gentler. Ooh, that was loud. It's probably gentler on your nails because gel and I, gel and dip were starting to get a bit harsh. Um, they were starting to strip my nails a bit and, uh, my nails were literally starting to split this way. And one even broke off completely that way. And I was like, uh, I can't have that. So I'm going to keep trying and working on that whole nail journey because I'm tired of having janky nails. It was it was wearing down on my self-esteem. So if you want to see me trying, where to go? It went somewhere. I shoved it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. It's It's been a day, y'all. It's a full moon. And... It's stressful. I only got one day off this week. So I am diving into my form of self-care. And that is connecting with you guys. And filming and just sharing my journey. 
and to me that's important yeah these uh, you can go back and do uh, watch my Parker tries color street so this is a far follow-up to Parker tries so this one once again was the song of the sea and uh, I love it I guess it's more like mermaid but less with less pink which is probably why I like it I like the blue I like it a lot these came out really well and yes I did all I always 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 follow up with um, um, a, a top coat this time when I put this on I also had a bottom coat to see if that would make a difference so I will let y'all know so that is my follow-up to Color Street and Friends. Decided to throw in a little bit of, um, um, uh, com you know, friendly competition with the other nail ta uh, nail tapes. I'll let you guys know how it goes. You follow me on Instagram, and um, each time I do my nails, I'll take a picture. Um, so yeah, um, I figured it out <laughs> how to have less waste. I could have had. So much more left over if I had just done that. Man, ain't that a bitch. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, make sure you uh, subscribe if you like what you see. I've got more content coming out. Uh, I'll probably be doing this about three times a week because um, I just feel like there's so much more I want to share with you. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit that little notification button from when they... They come up. There's going to be some plan with me, some unboxings. I'm going to talk about my sticker sticker collection, and you're going to get a little taste, a a little a little view into Parker's uh, Parker's place. You know, um, be good to one another. Please practice kindness and patience, because you never know where goodness will come from next. Thanks, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Peace.